All right, before we get going, I'm gonna tell you something that you guys might need to know. You ready? You wanna know what's more important than a super high horsepower Evo build? Your balls. Your balls are way more important. My favorite time of the month, this video is brought to you by manscaped.com. You wear deodorant in your armpits, you keep your upper body fresh, the lower part is the stinkiest one. So we've got a solution for you to go ahead and keep it unstinky. I can get you guys a really good deal on a performance pack. What's also about this, comes with a lawnmower. It's got a headlight, water resistant, waterproof. You can charge it. This guy will save your life. And your balls. Some undies. Well, have a look at this ball deodorant. It's deodorant, but for your sack. Ball toner, a little bit of scrote spritz. And with this guy, you get a nose trimmer. I don't really have nose hair, but if you do, anyways, it's not just all below the waist stuff. They offer now cologne, which is my favorite smell and it's Victoria's favorite smell. You've also got a nail trimming kit, so it's not just all about below the waist now. Manscaped is here to make sure that your body is looking good, smelling good, smelling fresh, and not nasty. Right now for this special, you can go to manscaped.com slash Evan Shanks. You can get 20% off of this bundle, plus free international shipping. Your jingle balls will thank you <laughs> this holiday season. Buy your nuts a gift, dude. If you love them, they'll love you back. On to the video. You can win this 700 horsepower R35 GTR and $5,000 cash. All you have to do is go to the link that's in the description and every $5 you spend at 53supply.com gets you one entry. If you wanna read more, click the link below. Happy shopping and good luck. Um. ka -chow. So today, the Evo is going to be going off to the paint shop. So I'll be able to get this out of here and the Miata on the lift. Hey, right on time, boys. Guys, what should I do? I really want some 22 by 12s. I'm gonna still keep it on 35s because I really want this to be a pretty, still functional towing vehicle. I really would love, as much as I would love 24 by 14s, that's too much of a flex. I know there's some uh, truck wheel companies out there that follow me, so I know, I probably have some in my emails too, but it's been so long, so let me know what you guys think. Oh, this is a, this is a massive, good thing I got an F-250 now, dude. So I actually have my own winch, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and borrow a Landry's because uh, obviously the Evo doesn't run. And so we're gonna be using this guy today. This is a big boy. That's a big boy trailer. I've got lots of little updates for you guys today, mostly for the Evo. But we are finally finishing the walls for the entire shack today. I'm really tired of just seeing a white wall back here and then everything else yellow and gross. So the whole thing, we finally just pulled the trigger, finishing the shank shack, and we'll be done. We will be 100% done. And as far as the Evo goes, got a couple surprises. So I got a Voltex diffuser, which I'll show you guys here in a second. And I got some temporary wheels. I can't remember if I said it on a video or not, but I, uh, I'm gonna be debuting my own signature three-piece wheel on the Evo. That's super exciting. I'm super fortunate to be able to say that that's even a possibility. But for now, I've got some mono blocks that we're just gonna be running that are wide enough to run whatever tire I need. And I went ahead and got an OEM. I don't have it with me yet. It's still waiting. Probably shipping on the boat from Japan. But uh, I got an OEM JDM rear bumper we're gonna be doing on this thing too. So this thing's gonna be so nice. Watch guys, got that thing on me. Ready to unbox. This is my favorite diffuser ever for the Evo. Honestly, this is my favorite diffuser I think ever. Period. The, the diffuser I have for my Supra is actually kind of modeled similarly to this. This is, uh, seriously, this is one of those, one of those beautiful things I think you can do to an Evo. Just, it's just, it just completes the booty end. Here we go, baby. Oh, check this out. Woo! Boom. I'm gonna leave this in. I don't want it to get scratched up while I'm transporting it, but I'm just gonna give this to Delira. I'm gonna let him mount this in my rear bumper up. This thing is nice. I love, the way, just the way that it pokes out, the way these poke out, so good. These on an RX-7, literally one of the nicest diffusers ever. <laughs> As for my temporary set of wheels, I uh, just needed something that was 18 by 10 and a half so I could fit my, my draggy boys. Just in the meantime, while I'm waiting for my three-piece wheels to get made, I went ahead and went for the uh, Heritage Hokkaido monoblocks. I love these things. These are the same ones that Jaren is running, but uh, they're gonna be on here. But I needed an 18 by 10 and a half with a lower offset. I think this is like a 12 offset so that it could actually fit with the body kit. I wanna sit here and look at these terrible fitting rotas. Look at got meaty this. Whoa! Do you guys think these look cool though? Wait till I show you my IS300 wheels. Can you see them right now? No, you can. Pretty, pretty bad. So again, that's another update for the Evo. 
before we go to the paint shop, update on the motor too. You may perform in some pretty big boxes that we're gonna use to uh, ship the motor off and the head and all the components, just like that. So I'm gonna get that shipped off. And the nice thing is we're gonna coordinate it to where when the car's getting painted, or while the car's getting painted, we're gonna be building the motor at the same time. And so hopefully it'll take about the same amount of time. I'm not sure exactly how long it'll take Delira to do all the paint. I'm gonna be changing the paint color and everything like that. So I don't know how long that's gonna take, but hopefully, hopefully both should take a little over a month. I'm gonna be nice because the car will be out of sight, out of mind. I'll be able to grind on some of the other stuff. The harness for the IS300 is finally done too. And so like, welcome, here's a big update. <laughs> One more thing, I guess. Well, his and hers action, it's really bright. I already ordered a kit for this. <laughs> it's a daily, bro. We got a kit, a wing, and I actually might debut my signature wheel on this car, but it'll be a duo block, a two-piece wheel because of the high offset that Mercedes makes you run. I've got a body kit and wheels coming for this thing and uh, also an exhaust. Probably gonna try and tune it. I'm still looking into like my opportunities here, my, my like the things I can do with it. And uh, also, I'm not sure what suspension options are. I know KW makes a coilover kit, but I really would like a sleeve kit so that I, I would love to be able to use my factory damping adjustment option with coilovers if I have it. So I'm gonna look into that. This is a day in my life. This is what happens in my mind. I've got 17 builds going on in my head and uh, I have to get them planned out and done <laughs> efficiently so the body kit, so things can be ordered and they can show up right on time. The body kit's gonna take like eight to 10 weeks on this, so I'm just gonna enjoy it in stock form for now. Let's go ahead and get a little stinky Miat out of the way and we'll start on getting the Evo onto the trailer. I gotta try and pop a squat. God dang it. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> nice. All right, he's getting that. I'm gonna swap, swap a route. Oh, look at the flex. Boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I think the only reason why like we're having to do any framework is honestly because the only way to winch this car into a trailer is through this right here and you can obviously see it's just been like, it's been used and abused. It's been pulled out, dude, it's been yanked. I think the frame should be fine, but either way, I'm paying a frame shop to make sure it is 100% correct before we do anything else. I think this is the first time I've ever sat in this car, like piloting it, this is gonna feel good. All right, oh boy, I cannot wait to drive this thing. This thing is gonna be so nice to drive, dude. Get these little guys off. This one and this one. We are about to see what this 6.7 do. <sighs> Can fit pretty much my entire body kit in this truck and got lots of room to spare. Look this, look this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yo. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Evo gang, bro. Evo gang. This is probably a three or 4,000 pound trailer <laughs> with about with about 3,000 pounds worth of car on it. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't even feel like I have anything behind. I do not know why I waited so long to get a good diesel, but man, it was absolutely worth it. <laughs> All right, everybody say hello again to Jose. We're at Delira Designs, dropping this guy off. All that we're gonna do is make sure the frame is good first. We got to, uh, Jose's gonna save the carbon. I've told you guys several times, but I mean, I'm just gonna go over it again, I guess, but like this carbon has to be completely redone, so new resin on that. And then uh, we're gonna get an entirely new different color. Nice, <laughs> I like different colors. <laughs> and then uh, we're molding this guy on here, making it look good, so. Make sure you line the front end and make sure everything's good to go. Dude, hold on, I gotta show you guys this. <laughs> is he doing a wide body on this thing? Got some big boy weds on this. Let's head to show you the S15. This obviously kind of caught my eye when I rolled up. Dude, guys, I, I just wanna let you guys know, I really wanna find a left-hand drive S15. It's like in one of the European countries that has the left hand. Dude, that would be crazy. Whoo! That is nice. I'll, I will be coming back to help 
Jose probably a little bit and do some body work with them. But yeah, we're gonna be changing the color on the car. We're not keeping the white. We're gonna go with a really cool OEM color. That's one of my favorite colors for the Evo. Just makes it look really sleek. And then obviously uh, fixing all the carbon up. But uh, I'll let you clean up the shop and take care of her. Hope you have an air compressor because when those tires are flat, it gets very hard to push. <laughs> but everybody say bye for now. We clean up some space in the shop and now we'll have the Miata and the IS300 to work on while this is gone. And again, like I told you guys, we're about to ship off the motor and have that completely reassembled and built for about 900 horsepower. This car, when you see it again, is going to be ready for, probably ready for the motor to be plopped back in and uh, it's going to be real soon to be on the road and just absolutely whooping butt. So that was a quick, short and sweet trip. I just needed to drop that off to get that out of the way. Honestly, just wanted to make this video so that you guys could be caught up on what's going on and uh, not asking where the Evo went. So Evo's now gone and uh, now I have room to work on some other stuff. I'm actually gonna go pick up my Civic here pretty soon so I can bring that back. I think I'm gonna use the wheels that are on the Civic for Jaren's Miata in the meantime while her three-piece wheels are getting made. We're going all out for her car, all out on the IS, all out on the Evo. We're gonna have some pretty damn cool cars in the shack here pretty soon. Let's get home and see how the wall's going. Whew. Bertha is so good. Thanks again to Landry and Rocky. They are actually from Righteous Restoration. They're actually the ones doing, they are doing the wall. Let's go ahead and check and see what they did. Probably tomorrow, ooh, nice. Probably tomorrow I'm gonna go and get my winch fabricated up so I can actually use it. I have not had any time. Boy, this looks incredible, dude. Having this entire shop walled up is going to look so, ooh, hold up. <laughs> ooh, it's so nice. Having this entire wall shop walled up is gonna be so sick. I'm uh, finally gonna be able to put like a TV on the wall. I'm gonna make a little hangout area. I'll finally be able to decorate it and do all the shelving and stuff like that. And then paint, graphics, that kind of thing. Almost done. By the time we get our next Miata video out, I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure the walls will be completely done. Life has been hectic and I'm, um, man, I'm so... It's so awesome now that I have the shack that I've been able to pull off so much. And I know it seems like I've probably been buying so many projects and doing so many things at once, but like that's kind of the point now. I can manage that because I have the space, the tools, like the, the warehousing, everything. I can finally like, I can finally do that. So <laughs> I'm stoked. I said this the other day, and by the way, every, every video I make, I end it with daily advice. And I said this the other day, but I honestly like, it's, it's really important to know this. And so I'm just gonna say it again. Fix your attitude, check your attitude. Mondays, don't suck. Your job doesn't suck. Whatever is going on doesn't suck. What sucks is your mentality. What sucks is your mindset. Guys, as long as you have a positive mindset, as long as your, your mental is good, life is good. It's much, much easier if you just think of the great things going on in life rather than moaning about what you think is bad. Like, But also, you know, so many people say like, oh, I hate my job or oh, I hate Mondays. Like Monday is a great day. Monday is a day of opportunity. Monday is the day of the week that you can, that you have the opportunity to either start on a good note or start on a bad note. And if you automatically say like, oh, Mondays suck, then yeah, your week's gonna suck. Then yeah, your job's gonna suck because in here, everything sucks. But if you finally just realize that life is good, you could instead be thankful that you have a job. You could instead be thankful that you have another week to live life. You have another week to better yourself. Every single single day is a brick that you are laying in your life. Today you can either lay a brick or you can complain and just not lay anything at all. The people that are thankful and the people that aren't whiny and moany are the ones laying bricks and the, they're the ones that are going to have the big, 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 big mansion at the end because all they did was lay bricks their whole life. If you sit there and just complain about the brick size you have or complain about the foundation or whatever it is, nothing's going to get done. I encourage you to check your attitude today. I do want to say thank you to JD Customs. They've helped me out with uh, with all the body kit and all the OE stuff for the Evo. You guys want to check them out. Their Instagram's down right now, but go ahead and just show the search up JD Customs. If you have any questions or anything like that, give them a call, shoot them an email, whatever, any, any kind of aftermarket parts, body kit kind of stuff. They've been super helpful and they're super nice. Whoo! Mouth. That's a spider. Mouthful. And also, guys, I dyed my hair back. We're back at brown. Victoria was tired of it. <laughs> you guys have an amazing day. Just remember to check your mindset. Before we go, remember you can win this R35 GTR plus 5,000 bucks cash if you, go, if you go to the link in the top of the description. You guys have an amazing day, and I'll catch you next video. Peace. Hey, I got two videos for you guys. Watch those two videos that are right in front of you. If you don't, then you will not have a... Oh, my voice cracked. All right. Anyways, subscribe. <laughs> have a good one.